Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, we're going to talk about um, all my fails. I um, probably I want to say this is probably my first video of fails because I really um, kind of just said, mm, okay, well, it really didn't work out or, you know, I would return it. But honeys, I have accumulated a lot. This is filled a lot of fails along the way. Now, I'm not saying like this is just a fail like recently. I'm just saying like along the way, probably a year's worth, let's just say, maybe a year's worth of fails. And unfortunately, they continue. Mm, there's just one in particular that oh breaks my heart. I, you know what? I take that back. I don't want to say it's a fail. It's maybe a disappointment, but I'm still working on that one. But Anyways, before we get on to um, this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is Tuesdays and Saturdays between 1 and 2. And so, like, I try to get them in between 1 and 2, and just sometimes they're a little late. But they are always there on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So, um, yeah. So, I would love your support, and I would love for you to help me grow this channel. I would appreciate it. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started with these fails. It's time for some fails. Being that 2020 has been, I don't want to say has been a failure. It's been a challenging year. So we're going to go over challenging products. Alrighty, so this is just in random order. Now I'm rolling up my sleeve because now I'm getting nervous. So um, let's just start off with this little heartbreak of mine. This Smashbox, this was the Studio Skin Full Coverage 24-Hour Foundation that when it came out, like I want to say last year, that um, Tati um, said it was the best foundation she ever, ever used in her life. I don't think I'm the only one who ran like the wind to get it. Um, by the way, Tati, everybody misses you so, so much. I hope that you're well. And I hope you come back soon. We love you. Um, but anyway, oof, this was horrendous on me. It, I, I tried to make it work. Like, let's just start from the beginning. Um, I can't wear full coverage. I did not know I couldn't wear full coverage. But this was awful. This is in... Um, First of all, light medium, and I think it's too light for me, but it was just, I remember wearing it once and I just happened to um, glance in the mirror and I was horrified. It showed, let's see here. Yeah, it is so freaking thick. It showed every pore, every nook, every crank. Like I had to, I had to, like I went like a, what the hell? I had to do a double take. I could not believe how it accentuated every line, um, every pore, everything. It was just awful. But I think I wore it once. I was like, that would be a hail no. But anyway, this was super disappointing. So that was one. Um, now, these Pretty Fresh, this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. Um, and this is in medium 11. And I am going to say, it. I, I find it very hard to find a good tinted moisturizer, as you'll see. Because, um, you know, I usually just make my own, like, and I'm so used to it. Like, I, I'll use my favorite face moisturizer. And if anybody out there um, is an OG, please leave me some comments down below if you know what I'm talking about. It is the Bare Minerals, the, 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 it was, it's in the pod in warmth. I want to say that that was probably like the original bronzer. So basically, I'll just put however much like face lotion I want and I will just pat in how much warmth I want and I will just tap in a little bit of uh, the Bare Minerals uh, warmth product and I'll just smear it in my hand. It is perfection, perfection. So I think I'm like so used to that that when I got like this pretty fresh, to me, yeah, hold on, man. I, let me just shake this lover up. Yeah, see, like to me, 
I mean, this looks like a foundation to me. This looks like a, this looks, yeah, it feels and it looks like, like a light foundation. That is not what I wanted in, that's not really what I'm looking for in a tinted uh, moisturizer. So this was a big um, disappointment and a big pass because I adore ColourPop. And segueing into these um, tinted face moisturizers, again, this is the Pixi H2 Skin Tint. This was the tinted face gel. I mean, and again, this is just my opinion. This looks like, yeah, this looks like, yeah, look at that. It looks like a light foundation. It's just, um, it's just a hefty no. So after those two products, I was so upset that, you know what? When something ain't broken, don't fix it. I just continue to use my uh, moisturizer and I create my own tinted moisturizer. But you OG girls out there, I know that you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, so anyway, after I picked up these two and they were roughly the same around the t same time about a year ago. Yeah, like I stopped wasting like my money on these tinted moisturizers. I just, no, I just don't like it. Um... I don't know when the hell I picked this Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD powder, but um, yeah, it's it's awful. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I, what, it, what do you use it for? Like, I, look at that. It's just so skippy, like it skips. Not skippy peanut butter. I mean, even if I put it on, like, do you see how, like, I'm just, why does that do that? And then when I put it on my skin, look at that. What? Like, it looks like it's seeping into my skin. Like, it's, I, um, what am I supposed to do with it? It just, I guess it was a, supposed to be a translucent powder, but yeah, no, it's awful. We'll also put up some pictures as well when I picked up the makeup forever the foundation and a powder okay first of all like I was watching all these great young girls doing it and it's just like a quick on the run I should have known that you know I can't do powder foundation I can't like I'm 52 years old there's no way um that would ever look good on me and sure enough it looked horrible but I, I want to say I probably threw it away but I will leave a picture up what I was talking about. It's the Makeup Forever, but it's the uh, powder foundation. That would be a no-no for me. That would be a no. And segueing into, um, I'm going to continue with the face. Um, I picked this up a few months ago. These are the new, well, they were new then. The Revlon Photo Ready Makeup and Skincare Primers. This one happened to be mattifying and pore reducing. There was one for hydration and one for something else. I, I don't know, and I just used this the other day because I said, let me try it again. M maybe it's the mattifying, but do you see how thick that is? And then when I put it on, I started a video. I mean, and it's very mattifying. You could tell right over there, right there, right here. You can see the difference. But when I used it and I was doing a video and I grabbed my mirror just to just oh let me look let me look it was so flaky like every like it looked like it grabbed onto the foundation in spots so it was like flaky on my nose you know flaky like around here I'm like what the heck is this then I went to I had to start over I had, I had to wash my foundation off it was so bad so this is a hard pass it was I don't I, I, I don't know, but this just did not work for me at all. Now, I don't know where I got this extreme lash. I might have gotten it in a box of something, protective coating extreme lashes. I didn't care for it at all. It's very wet. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I have, like, one of those um, protective coats. I think it's from Chanel. I got it as, like, a gift when I bought something from there. But this I'm not... Um, comfortable with I just didn't like it I thought it was too watery I thought it was too wet so um I got you know it's very easily drips into your eye I just wasn't a fan of it I just I just don't like it um moving on moving on moving on um I I live in New Jersey I do have a Dollar General um 
near us. So I did pick up the Believe Beauty Foundation because everybody was talking about it. So I did pick it up and I think I did a video of it like last year, I think. But anyway, in the midst of that, I did go and pick up a few of their other products and I picked up this um, Believe Beauty Pretty Prime Hydrating Primer. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, there it is right there. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's okay, but I don't think it did anything for me. I'm not really sure. I need something like a, like a, a pore filling primer. So I'm going to hold off on this and I'm going to because it really does look pretty. It looks, look how nice that looks on the skin. It's really, really pretty. I may just like hold off on this and maybe just put this on the periphery and then just maybe just put some pore filling primer just right here on the T-zone. So I'm going to unfail this fail and just hold off because it, it does feel nice. I will tell it does feel nice. So I'm going to take this one back out and I'm going to try this one again. So that is that. Now, these, I'm going to just say it was just probably nothing to do with the products. It was just my bad that it's just not my color. So this one is the true, um, the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. So, and then this one is in Baby Blossom. I just don't think it has any color. I mean, it's so stinking light. It is creamy though, but... You can barely see it. You, like, do you see that? And I'm, I'm taking a significant amount. I mean, you could barely, barely see that. Can you, like, you could barely see it. I just don't think it's my color. I think that's what it is. It's just not my color. And I want to say that it's just not my color. I, I don't have anything bad to say about the product. It's very soft and it's pretty. And it's got like a little bit of a, like little glistening. If you could see that, it's pretty. I just don't think it's my color. So that's what I have to say about that. Again, with the same thing. This is the Milani, but this is in T-Rose. And again, it's the same thing. It's like, it's so smooth. It's so, it, it, let me see. It's over here. Yeah, you know, I think it's just the color. Like, I'm not really, a, a, this looks very coral to me. So, yeah. Yeah, you can see it right here. This looks very cool. I'm not a coral girl. Um, don't yell at me, please. This looks like like one of these um, old grandmas that are so cute, but you, they wear too much makeup. You know what I'm talking about? Like, sweetie pie. This is what it reminds me of. It's just, And again, it's, it has nothing to do um, with the product. It is so silky smooth. It's just... Yeah, it's... That's my boyfriend. He always has to be in the picture. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, it's just a color. I just can't. Yeah. Mm -mm. I just cannot. But, yeah. Another thing that, um, and I just picked these up recently. I don't know what I was thinking because um, I'm not really a pastel -y girl. This is the Essence eyeshadow palette, but this was the Air. You know, they just came out recently. It was the Air, the Earth, the Wind. I can't remember. But I, I picked this up, and they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. They're just too doggone light. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Let me just swatch a few. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to just swatch a few of them. And again, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Yeah, it, they're, just, they're just not my cup of tea. They're very pastel-y. They're very light. To me, they don't give enough of a oomph, like of a punch. And um, yeah, I mean, I adore Essence. One of my favorite, favorite um, Essence eyeshadow palette that it's my, that's that been my go-to was the uh, the Essence Beautiful, Beautiful palette that I adore. That was like all um, last winter. That was my go-to. I wore it every single day. I absolutely adored it. Um, I don't know what made me pick this one. I, I don't know. It was just a bad choice. Not that these are bad. It was just a bad choice on my part that, um, yeah, they just, uh, um, these are just not my colors. And it was, yeah, not for me. Um, this next product is a Milani 
um, the holographic light. I don't even know what the heck this is. I don't know if this is, I'm assuming it's an eyeshadow. Or where am I going with this? Like, where the hell am I going with that? Like, I'm trying to look. Is that like an eyeshadow? It's very holographic. It's very, um, I, 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 I have nothing to say. I have no words. It's, it's pretty. It's super pretty. It, it, it's very gritty. It feels, you could feel it. I'm just shearing it out. It's pretty. It's very pretty. It's just um, downright holographic glitter. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't know what, what I was thinking. And yeah, yeah, as I'm like wiping it off, it's just glitter. So it's um, nothing that I would normally wear. I don't know why I picked it up, but I'm sure um, the girls will enjoy it. Next, see, now I I just want to let you know that my favorite, favorite, favorite lip liner of all God's creations, let's not get dramatic, girl, but you know what I mean, is the ColourPop Lippy Oh Snap. I will put a picture up. You know exactly what I'm saying about those ColourPop Lippies, but ColourPop Oh Snap is my ultimate favorite. So every time I'm on the hunt, for like another one, just in case, just in case. Um, I always compare the two. So I thought that this was very pretty. This NYX um, lip liner, um, it's in rose because you know, this is pretty. I mean, it's a little bit um, more of a pinkier than the than the O Snap. The O Snap is more like on the pinky mauve. This is on the pinky pink. But this, and what I'm sh about to show you, are two totally different animals. I mean, this is like, this is, maybe it could be me. Let me see. Yeah, no. This is downright like bubble gum or it's just so freaking pink and bright. I would never in a million years wear that. Is not this. So um, this is definitely a no for me. Okay, so moving on to um, lips. Mmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lips. Ooh, I, I'm gonna have to do some serious editing. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long video. But anyway, um, let's move on. Um, I picked up this NARS. Isn't this beautiful? I picked up this NARS, and this is called Play Pen. And um, let me just preface that I do not like liquid lips, although I try so hard, so, so hard. I try hard, but anyway, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna try. Um, what a beautiful, beautiful color. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I put it on my lips. It was downright awful. Like I, I wanna like it. I wanna like it. Let me see. Yeah, it just looked not for me. It was very deceiving, in my opinion. I just can't wear it. Yeah, so that was that. Another thing is um, I got last year the um, with Laura Lee Los Angeles, who I think is adorable. I got like one of her um, uh, nudie patootie packages. Like it was the collection. It was the nudie patootie eyeshadow palette, which is beautiful, which I adore. And then it came with an either or. You could have gotten the bronzers or the highlighters glazed, I think. I did get the highlighters. And it came with these two beautiful, beautiful lipsticks. One liquid lips. One is, um, let's see here, one is Mai Tai, gorgeous. And then the other one is called Cabana. They're both absolutely beautiful. Until I put them on. Until I put them on. I am so sad because I really, really wanted these to work. Again, I mean, this, this color here, which it's a shame because it's so beautiful, Cabana. It looked horrible. It looked horrible. I mean, it looked, first of all, it was just too, um, too much with my skin. It looked absolutely horrible. This one that I thought was beautiful. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Was, again, like what the hell? I, I just cannot pull it off. It looks awful. You know what? 
let's take off this lip smack and stick and I just want to show you so you don't think I'm crazy because they look beautiful on the hand they really do let's just start off with um, Cabana I could be wrong leave me some comments down below if you think it looks nice this is Cabana I Mm, let me just do a double take. It just does nothing. For, I think it just dr just drains me right out. I just don't like it. No, mm-mm, uh-uh, mm-mm, no, mm-mm. That was that. And then this is my tie, which looks gorgeous. I... I just can't. I just cannot do it. If they just... God, it just, it does just not look good on me. I don't know if it's just me or, no, Could, I mean, really, no, no, I can't get it off. I'll be right back. So much better. Okay, better. Um, let me just check. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't get that off over there. But anyway, yeah, see, these are just not, no, mm-mm. That'll be a hard pass. No. Now, this um, essence um, that I love, this is the Shine 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 Extreme Shine Lip Gloss for a wet look finishing lip. It is beautiful. This is in the color um, Happiness in a Bottle. Now, let me just put it on here because I cannot um, put it on my lips. It's beautiful. Now, this is right up my alley. It is so, so pretty. It's the smell. I, I just can't get past it. It tastes like back in the day when you were little and you had to um, take medicine with uh, by the spoon because you didn't know how to swallow pills. That that antibiotic. Oh my God! It smells so bad. It smells like. Hold on. It smells like when you're trying to mask. You know, like, oh, it's cherry flavor penicillin. I, I just cannot get past the smell. I just, I feel so bad because I love this. Because this is, I mean, look at this when you shear it out. That is so beautiful. I just cannot, I, I just can't get, I, I cannot get past that friggin' smell. I just can't, I can't. And speaking of smell... These beautiful physicians formula. These are um, the velvet lip colors, and I picked these up uh, a while back. And one is in Pillow Talk, and one is in First Kiss. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Nice creamy pencils, deliciousness. So so pretty. See that? It smells. I make my nose run. So friggin' bad. It smells like roses. Oof, I, I just can't get it past the smell. It is so freaking strong. It gives me a headache. I just can't get past it. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lips. But these were in the chocolate family. And this one is the um, 848 Dose of Cocoa. My nose is running. I can't. But it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, how pretty is that? Oof, that is so, so pretty. And then the next one is... Um, Angora, the 360 Angora. Like these colors are right up my alley, but it's the smell. And that's the Angora right next to it. That's really, really pretty. And then the last one is, uh, what is that? Candyman. So pretty. And again, I don't even wear liquid lips, but they are so pretty. I love these colors. I mean, how beautiful, especially like this, this candy, man. It's so, so pretty, but they smell so friggin' bad. I mean, that's cute and all, but who smells like roses? This one smells like chocolate. It really is. Oh, God, it smells so bad. Maybe you guys out there in uh, cosmetic land, don't put fragrance in your... Oh, it smells so bad. Now, last but not least, it's not a fail per se, but... I'm a little disappointed. Ooh, my stomach hurts just showing you guys, but mm. this is the LeBeige Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Longwear. Now, 
let me preface this. This is $60. $60. Let me just think about Let me just think what I want to say. I did use it. I've used it a few times. Okay, so here it is like on the skin. I mean, it's a little yellow from my skin, but like I said, it was totally doable. And I'm sure if it wasn't, I could exchange it. So there it is. I smeared it all over. It's a pretty good match. The thing is, is that I'm like a medium girl. Like if I'm going to do um, light coverage, I'm going to use a tinted moisturizer that I make on my own. For $60, I don't know. I just expected more from this. I I think it's, and I'm gonna, I can't believe I'm saying this, I think it's too glowy. Even though like I have normal skin and as I've gotten older, it's coming a little bit dry. Like I have a dry patch between my eyes. Sometimes I'll get like a dry patch over here. Um, it smells, yeah, it smells. But again, I could, I could forfeit the smell-ish. If it will, it does dissipate so I can get over the smell. But I just felt like with, it's a Chanel, it's $60. I wanted more coverage from it. That's what I'm trying to say. And like I said, it's not like a full-blown fail because I'm going to try and work with it. I just feel like for the money, for the product Chanel, um, I don't know. I just wanted it to perform a little bit better. Like I would never spend that kind of money on a tinted moisturizer but like to me it's kind of like just a notch above that like I wanted more coverage is what I am trying to say like I know a lot of the women like it I, I'm just curious of do you have a product that was a little disappointing and how did you tweak it to make it work for you so I may reach out to a couple of ladies that I know love this and I'm not really a fan, but I want to try and make it work. But this, this this breaks my heart right here. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So I want to make it work. That's it, guys. That is the end of my fails. I'm so glad that I finally got a chance to um, make this video because the pile was getting so big. And I'm thinking, when am I going to stop? Like, when is it, where, where's the cutoff? Like, like when? So um, I'm glad I got it out of the way. I'm going to try and dispense all this because I'm sure so many people would love to have it. It's just not my cup of tea for one reason or another. But um, yeah, I'm glad I finally um, did the video. Uh, you guys, leave me some comments down below. Have you had kind of the same issues I've, that I have had? Or girl, you're crazy. Like you can make this work. But anyway, let me know. Leave me some comments down below. I would really, really love to hear from you guys. Um, yep. So that's it, guys. There's my uh, fails video. You guys be good to each other. Love each other and have a great, great day. Bye.